Uh, and then at the end, you push, you push it again, it'll stop. Uh, so, on Ragbar, I've done 11, uh, 10 Ragbar rides. I'm scheduled to do my 11th. People always ask me, you know, do you ride the whole thing? Because some people just get on and ride for a day or ride partial days, which that's no, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but I ride, the, so I've ridden all of them completely, except for one time I rode five days because the guy I was riding with had a heart attack like the, on day zero, and so I had to go to the hospital with him. Fortunately, he didn't have it on like day three because then he probably would have not been with us, but fortunately, we, we got him, you know. So, and then this year, there was one day I only rode a half day because it was century day. So every year there's a, it's one of the longer days and then they add a loop so you can ride hundred miles. And I've done the century day every time. Um, once you've ridden 60 miles, what's another 40, right? Um, so this is exactly what this happened. I almost died here. So you can see it's a little bit of a down decline and I've been riding my bike for four, I got this bike in 2009, so I've been riding for 14 years. Uh, and I've changed up some equipment. One of the equipments I haven't changed is my pedals. So I was riding and I was going downhill. I was going pretty fast. Um, Cause I was going downhill and I was really trying to push it for the century day. Cause I knew I had to get hundred miles in and my pedal broke. So I write century day. And then I talk about pedal. So you can see here, pedals should be right here, but there's my pedal, there's the crank with no pedal. So you can imagine if you're pedaling pretty fast and you push down, you're crashing. I should have broken something, but sure enough, I I barely skinned a knee. And fortunately I wear these sun shields on my arm. So I had they got torn up, but the sun shield broke and but my arm didn't. So, and I did get a scratch on my Fitbit, which, I mean, it, I should have hurt myself pretty badly, but I didn't. I just uh, went down. And you're wondering what happens when a pedal falls off. Well, of course, when you're when you're locked in, uh, you end up with the pedal still on the bottom of your shoe. And you can see this right here is the little piece that broke. And so I ended up having to get. So, what do you do when your pedal breaks? You're stuck on this. You can't pedal without. You can't ride without pedals. So I was stuck on the straight road until um, I was going to wait for the sag wagon that comes by. But um, sure enough, some nice gentleman with a truck drove by and I said, hey, you want to give me a ride to the next town? He said, sure. And this guy apparently didn't know that ride breathing was happening. He just like suddenly was driving his car and all of a sudden there was 10,000 cyclists, 20,000 cyclists. Actually, this was ride breathing 50, there was probably like 25 or 30,000. So he gives me a ride and then I get to the town and then the people in town give me a ride to the bicycle. There's bicycle shops um, that pop up bicycle shops in every town. So I got in line and I waited for about an hour. So I was waiting on the side of the road for about an hour. Then I waited in line for an hour and they did not have these pedals. So I had to get new pedals and new cleats, which eh, it was about $250 by the end of the day. But I was able to ride away and the, when the ambulance came and like, me up there I thought there's no reason we can't keep riding but I was definitely hobbled I had they called it a contusion on my back because I'd fallen somewhere but I really wish I had a video of this accident because it would have been pretty intense um, so anyway I should have died but instead and, and I I don't think I would I definitely would have done the century part of it I, but I would have probably made it but it would have taken me a long time instead we got uh, we got someone to pick us up and uh, so um, pedal rope so you I said that I almost died twice. What was the second time, right? So after Ragbury was over, um, and actually I rode the next day just fine. I was a little, I felt a little bit and that was the shortest day, but after that I was fine. I was really surprised. But after Ragbury was over, I was kind of sluggish and tired. Didn't really think about it. I just said, oh, you know, I just rode across the state of Iowa. I'm a little tired. But I was noticing on the forums that People kept posting, hey, I came back from Ragbury with, with COVID. And I was like, well, maybe I should test myself. And sure enough, I was positive. So I got COVID on Ragbury. Now, uh, I was triple vaxxed. Uh, I think I'm quadruple now, but triple vaxxed. And, you know, I, my lung health was pretty strong. So I just was sick for a couple of days, but I had the plague. So, um, and the girl I was riding with, uh, she came over and tested herself too. 
we think she got COVID earlier in the week because she really struggled and wasn't feeling very hungry, uh, didn't have an appetite, but she had recovered, so she did not have it, but test, and then 8-3, 8-5, and then by 8-9, I was COVID-free in time to work the fair. So that's the time I almost died. I should have died twice on Ragbar. You can 